What is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Diamond Dennis Rodman added to NBA 2K23, my team today. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys into Shoot Run. I literally just, I was just in Shoot Run because I wanted to see. What is this Dennis Rodman's jump shot like? Is it baited like last year? Is it bad like past years? You know, I really just wanted to see, uh, j just to get a better feel for this idea or for this video, right? Because obviously we know what the requirements are gonna be, right? We all know the requirements are gonna be, you know, 35 triple threat offline games, 35 clutch time offline games, you know, 25 clutch time online games. Hey, you know, it, or, it, it's just, it's horrible, man. The, the requirements for this is, is horrible. It's a long grind. But I will say, you know, Robin's release is chick. That's what I will say. You know, it is absolutely chick in my team. Now, is it the quickest? No. Is it baited? Maybe a little bit, right? Maybe a little baited, but I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's bad enough in which you don't play Rodman because of his release because there's plenty of people in my team. I'm just going to throw out a name. Now, obviously, Andre Kirilenko's release might be a little better because he leans back, whatever. But his release, in my opinion, is not quick either. So you might be wondering, okay, Ty, well, what's the uh, <laughs> what's the grind going to be like? Well, the grind's going to be the exact same as this. So you're going to have to win 35 triple threat offline games, 35 clutch time offline games, 25 triple threat online games, 25 clutch time online games, and 15 my team unlimited games so yes to say the least it's a long and grueling grind but with that being said you get dennis rodman so i haven't even looked at his stats badges this is our first look at big dennis rodman 6'7, 220 pounds only a 73 ball okay you know what he's to say he has a 73 ball but with monty williams in his shoe you can get that into the upper 70s which i this is my personal opinion I don't think an upper 70s three ball is bad, okay? 85 driving dunk, boom, that's what you needed. 86 ball handle. This is where I get excited, okay? 90 block, 90 steal, 90 perimeter, 94 interior, plus Monty's gonna boost the perimeter and interior. Great rebounder, which matters. 89 speed, 93 lateral quickness, great acceleration vertical. I mean, the card is incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible when it comes to the defense in the court. And that's accounting for the fact that I've already looked at both LeBron James and Ron Artest. Now, obviously, they're both going to be good in their own right, but I don't think either of them, Ron Artest, might be a better perimeter defender. But as far as an all around defensive player, you can make the argument that Dennis Rodman is just as good, if not better. Now, that's the, uh, that's the attributes. Tendencies for this card matters a ton. And he's got great tendencies through and through. Tendencies last year, I felt like didn't matter. The year before that in 2K21, they mattered a lot. And then in NBA 2K20, they mattered a ton. This year, specifically, they're back. Okay, tendencies matter so much. Four Hall of Famers, Anchor, Workhorse, Box Out, Beast, Rebound Chaser. 16 on gold, Bully, Fast, Twitch, Does Get Ankle, Braces, Challenger, Chase the Artist, Clamps, Glove, Interceptor, Menace, up, up, as Pig Dodger, Post, Lockdown, Pogo Stick, and Brick Wall. Five silver badges with three on bronze. Now, here's the problem with Dennis Rodman, okay? Uh, you look at the card, 28 base badges. That's cool and all, 28 base badges. Ron Artest has 42 base badges. LeBron James, he's got 55 base badges. And so that's the problem, right? I mean, I I like Dennis Rodman's stats. The problem are his badges, right? And I'm not saying they're bad, but he's only got 28 base badges. That's tough, right? He needs a lot, right? You want to give him unpluckable. You probably want to give him quick first step. You want to give him a, a break starter, right? Uh, and then you got to find a way to give him some shooting badges. You got to give him a least catch and shoot, right? I mean, I guess he might not need that much. But vice grip, unpluckable. Both badges I'd want to give him quick first step, definitely break starter. And then, you know... Maybe you don't got to give him the rest, but I'd like to give him guard up play more. But I mean, maybe you just got to prioritize catch and shoot. So that's kind of the tough part about Dennis Rodman. For me specifically, he's 6'7", right? And when you're trying to find players to plug into your lineup, my, this is not my actual lineup. So like if I was to plug in my actual lineup, it looks something like this, okay? Something along these types of lines. 
And when you're trying to find a way in which, and look, I'm, I'm not trying to, to say this in a, in a bad way or anything, but when you're trying to find a way to get Dennis Rodman on the court, it's hard because he's only got 28 base badges. And is he better than James Worthy at the four? I don't know. I mean, defensively, yes. Offensively, no. So it's kind of a pick your battle, pick your poison. Same thing with, uh, obviously he's better than Sean Kemp. But same thing with a guy like Jason Tatum. Defensively, he's going to be way better. But Jason Tatum's got way more badges. So even if you're playing Jason Tatum at the, at the small four position, it's what you prioritize. Now, obviously, if you get, again, you can get Dennis Rodman out of the unlimited vault or the triple threat vault. And if that happens 100%, Dennis Rodman plays for you. The problem is, I just don't know if he plays over Scotty or Jason Tatum. And then it's like, does he play over LeBron? Or if you're trying to build the best squad in the game, does he play over Worthy? And to me, I don't know. I don't think so. I like Dennis Rodman. I'm not throwing Dennis Rodman out of, of the question quite yet because I, I do like him. I think the card is going to be really solid in my team. But it's just going to come down to how good truly can Dennis Rodman be and do the badges he doesn't have hurt the card that much? Because you also have to look in, okay, he's got Hall of Fame anchored, box out beast, workhorse, and rebound chaser. So maybe at that power forward position, he is a guy that can hold it down for you. So I don't know. I see both sides to it. Uh, if you want to get Dennis Rodman, I think the card is going to be really solid. Obviously, do I think he's worth the, you know, 25, 30 hour grind, which he is? No. Okay. But if you are trying to get all centerpieces like I am, maybe he's worth it this weekend or this next upcoming week to just go crazy and get it. Again, I don't necessarily know. Uh, I don't have the right answers for it uh, per se, but I can say this. He's up there with being one of the best pure lockdown or best defender defense players in the entire game. That's the one thing I will say confidently about Dennis Rodman. When you look at all the content we got today, it's absolutely incredible. Dennis Rodman adds to it. What I personally wish, and this is just me uh, talking, I personally wish Dennis Rodman, first of all, had more badges, and secondly, could get more upgradable badges. Because, I mean, look, I, I, I guess, you know, for me, I'd like to give him bailout. I'd like to give him slippery off. I'd like to give him guard up, comeback kid, play more, catch and shoot, blinders, back down, punish. Those are all things I'd like to give him. But you're really limited on what you can, and so that's my problem with Dennis Rodman. As far as the grind, it's, again, going to be one of those tough ones. So let me know your thoughts on Rodman down below in the comments. They juiced him, but I just wish his badges had that little bit more, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.